guys act like we just met. Cut it out. To my right, folks, we have the perfect Aspen couple seated over here in the booth. Are they perfect? That's Ken and Barbie of Aspen. <laughs> He's positioned his leg oh so cleverly. <laughs> he looks like a Ken doll, doesn't he? I bet if we pull his pants down, it's smooth in the front. <laughs> Look, he's going, ha, 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 I'm going to kick his ass. <laughs> I got, every time I see a good old boy sitting up front, boy, I just gotta, he is a big guy. Can we get you something, a keg with a nipple on it or something, you big? <laughs> you see the size of this guy? He could like fart and knock down my summer home. Look at this guy. Come on, let's go beat up a Buick. What do you say? I love when people describe the clothes, though, by the type of the type of weather by the clothes you should be wearing. What's it like out? Oh, it's jacket weather. Oh, it's kind of a t-shirt day. It's kind of an Adidas jockstrap kind of an afternoon. I can't wait for summer, man. I love those bathing suits, you know, a little clamshell in the front on a beach and a piece of dental floss going up around the back over here like this to hold it on. And Kirk, don't think you didn't look good in it either, big guy. <laughs> it was good to get back for the holidays. This is a very strange town that we're in. Some people here, have, it's a very heavy-duty attitude town. You know, these people are like, excuse me, dear, did I just shit? I can't tell, it doesn't stink. <laughs> I was standing outside of a restaurant, and this woman assumed I was the valet parking man. I was wearing a black jacket. She holds out a set of keys, and she goes, it's the Jaguar. I'm like, oh, really? Is it this one over here? <laughs> you guys are great. Let's wreck this place, all right? All right, yeah. See, if I was in California, I'd go, let's wreck the place. I'd be going, hey, man, this is somebody else's property. <laughs> Hit the road there, granola head, okay? When I first moved out to California, I've been living there two years, my real estate agent was showing me a house. He said, I don't know if you want to move in here. Rumor has it that it's haunted. And I was like, oh, really? By California ghosts? How scary. <laughs> running around from room to room going, totally boo. <laughs> totally boo. Boo for sure. You wake up in the middle of the night and you hear, dude, dude. See, like, avocados are levitating in the kitchen. It's like, what the hell is that? Ghost of guacamole. See, now you're wearing, you're wearing what? Leather pants, lady? Is that what you have on? Yeah, baby. Come on up here. <laughs> Bring them leather booties up here. See, leather pants are great. It's a nice, warm theater. Wait till you walk outside. It drops 80 degrees. You're like, yeah, leather's happening. Isn't this great? That's why I'm glad I wore this. It's very comfortable. <laughs> And you got a leather jacket to match? You look like a Garmin bag. Very nice. <laughs> we'll put a hanger in your head, hang in the closet, and call you Samsonite. <laughs> These nights are best. Man, I love it. It's nice and cold. You sit by the fire, you make yourself an Irish coffee. That's my favorite drink. Here's a couple of stimulants to keep your body guessing. Caffeine and liquor. <laughs> right? You're walking around going, I don't know if I should drive, because it's really pretty far. It's all right, I'll walk. It's not that far. I think maybe if I just come over this way, but... I should probably stay here because I've been... That's right, is there a gym open? Is there one nearby? I'd like to work out right now. That is why the Irish never conquered anything. You know? I mean, that whole drinking thing. 500 years ago, they were standing around going, Well, okay. Now that you've all been briefed on our plan for the invasion of Europe, do you have any questions? Uh, yes, Patsy in the back there. When we arrive, will we have to bring our own beer or will they have some first? <laughs> What's that? They won't. 
Well, then you won't be finding the likes of me over there. <laughs> You won't be finding me over there, I do. Oh, jeez, I pulled me pants up to me lucky charms. <laughs> oh, yellow moons, pink hearts, and they almost crushed me green clovers. <laughs> well, that was good. You like that, didn't you? Oh, you're a guy, shit. See, I have a problem with long hair, man. I have this thing. Every, one, every once in a while, guys with long hair... From behind, I'll see a guy with long hair. And if he's real skinny, I think it's a woman. You know? And I'm looking going, oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> mm-hmm. You kind of fine. Come on over here to your love daddy. That's right, baby. <laughs> Bitch, I'm making screen for people you never met. <laughs> yeah. If I unzip my zipper, the next sound you will hear will be... Then he turns around and you see it's a guy and you're like, holy shit. Oh man, you're a guy and I had half a Woody. God damn it. I had half a Woody over a man. Jesus Christ. Now I gotta go beat up a bunch of faggots for no reason whatsoever. Excuse me, buddy. Is there a power tool sale around here anywhere? God damn it. <laughs> I come from a large family I have a bunch of brothers and sisters and uh, my brother used to walk and talk in his sleep which was like the weirdest thing you ever wake people up in the middle of the night they say things that don't make any sense whatsoever I try to be real quiet and he'd be like um, uh, yeah sometimes the Hopi Indians would worship a desert god that would fly across and meet the bad people Shut up. where did you get that shit from Mom was doing shots of Clorox when she was pregnant when you was Stop it. You're scaring the shit out of me now. <coughs> Do you have a family pet there, Jeannie? No. You didn't have a family pet? We had a dog for 18 years. <laughs> Please, sir, keep your date quiet. <laughs> that was good, right? Big redneck. Come on, let's go punch the shit out of that bitch. <laughs> I bet I can beat most women in here, goddammit. Are you barking from experience or are you thinking of me, man? You know when dogs get old too, they get that old dog bark. You know, it's like they wake up in the middle of the night, it's like the hell is that? And they do it at like 4 o'clock in the morning. It's like, oh, what time is it? Oh, 4 o'clock. Time for a bark for no apparent reason. So, and of course, that would always wake my brother back up. Uh, yeah, chocolate bar gets burned faster in the summer. I have a sister, too. She's uh, 17. She's starting to date, which is really funny to me, because these guys that she dates, you know, they think they're so suave bola. <laughs> you know, they're walking up to the front door of the house, and I know in their head they're singing to themselves, the summer wind came blowing in from across that sea. <laughs> when they're really walking up like this. <laughs> You guys have been the greatest. Have a good night, everybody. Thank you very much.